tell me it's Chatterbox. This is that book I will be reading in a second, but um, I would like to mention something. Uh, first of all, of course it's for everybody, but especially it's for those who are quite talkative. And so greetings to my friends, all of them. Um, Sylvia, that book is for you. I dedicate this book for you because you are a Chatterbox. And greetings to all of my students. Take a deep breath. It takes only 7 minutes and 27 seconds. Enjoy! Little Miss Chatterbox talked more than a lot. She talked all the time, day in and day out, week after week, month after month, year in and year out. She never stopped. She didn't know it, but she even talked in her sleep. <laughs> she had a brother. I bet you can guess what his name was, can't you? That's right, Mr. Chatterbox. She looks a bit like him, don't you think? Maybe that wins. You should have heard them when they got together. You couldn't get a word in edgeways or sideways or anyways. Have you ever heard about somebody being able to talk the hind leg off a donkey? Well, Mr. Chatterbox could talk both hind legs off a donkey and his sister could talk the hind leg off an elephant. Now, the story is about the time little Miss, Miss Chatterbox decided to get herself a job, which she did in a bank in Happy Land. At 10 o'clock, one Monday morning, Mr. Happy strolled into the Happy to Land U Bank in the middle of Happy Town. He took out his checkbook, wrote a check and went to the counter. Behind the counter, on her first morning at work, stood little Miss Chatterbox. She smiled at Mr. Happy. Mr. Happy smiled back. Good morning, he said cheerfully. Well, said little Miss Chatterbox, taking a deep breath. <gasps> For the time of year, it's a good morning, but not quite as good as the morning we had yesterday. And I dare say tomorrow morning will be an even better morning, but it's quite a good morning for Monday morning and... <gasps> And she went on and on and on until it was time for the bank to shut. Mr. Happy was still standing there with his mouth open in amazement. He'd been there for hours. And now, continue little Miss Chatterbox, it's time for the bank to shut and time for me to go home. So goodbye and nice talking to you and... Uh, and she went home, leaving poor Mr. Happy without any money. Hmm. The following morning, she was fired. She got herself another job in a restaurant. They eat a lot. It was Tuesday morning and at midday, Mr. Greedy walked into the restaurant and sat himself down at his usual corner table. He always ate there on Tuesdays because that was the day they served extra large portions. The waitress came up to take his order. What's the soup of the day? Mr. Greedy asked the waitress. Well, said little Miss Chatterbox, for she was the waitress. The soup of the day is tomato, but we also have other soups on the menu, such as oxtail and vegetable and chicken noodle. But we have lots of other things to start with, such as... Uh, and she went on and on and on until midnight. Mr. Greedy was still sitting there, listening in amazement. He'd been there for 12 hours, listening. 
And now, continue little Miss Chatterbox. It's time for the Eat A Lot restaurant to shut and time for me to go home. So goodbye and nice talking to you and uh, and she went home, leaving poor Mr. Greedy feeling rather empty. The next morning she was fired. The same thing happened all week long. On Thursday morning she was fired from her job as an assistant in a hat shop. Miss Splendid went into the shop to buy herself a new hat, but she couldn't. Oh, madame, I've just uh, had uh, for uh, uh, I've just had for you, and I know you are going to love it because it's pink, and pink is your color, and it and it was all talk and no hat, of course. On Friday morning, she went fired from her job as a secretary to Mr. Up Pity. Mr. Up Pity, incidentally, was the richest man in the world. I just thought you'd like to know, but poor Mr. Up Pity didn't make any money the day that little Miss Chatterbox was working for him. Oh no! Oh, Mr. Appity, I've never worked in an office before, and isn't it exciting? And would you like a cup of coffee? And you are as rich as everybody says you are, and it, uh, it was all talk. No work. But this story was a happy ending, because at the very end of that week, Mr. Little Chatterbox managed to find herself a job that suited her down to the ground. And up to the sky. That Saturday evening, Mr. Chatterbox was at home in Chatterbox Cottage, which was where he lived. Mr. Chatterbox was cross because his watch had stopped and he had arranged to meet little Miss Sunshine at 7 o'clock and he had no idea what the time was. So he decided to telephone the speaking clock to find out what time it was. He dialed the number... At the first stroke it will be 6.25 and 15 seconds. Little Miss Chatterbox took a deep breath. <gasps> beep, beep, beep! At the first stroke it will be 6.25 and 20 seconds. Beep, beep, beep! That's funny, thought Mr. Chatterbox to himself. That sounds just like my sister. And of course, it was our little Miss Chatterbox and her ideal job. Okay, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.